I've lived in Switzerland for over 15 years, and, and to me, this is my home. And I, when I, le I don't like leaving Switzerland because it's always sad to go to other countries that are not as nice. And I, I'd love to come back home to Switzerland. And mm -hmm. I, I consider Switzerland and the mountains here to be, to be my home. Mountains and lake, to me, is the perfect sense of, of freedom and home. And um, I don't like it too flat. It, it, you know, I, I like to have, you know, the different shapes and, and I love the way the light changes it. And I mean, my sense of home has become quite different since I've become uh, a working musician, performer. So um, I feel quite at home on stage. This is the moment in my show where there's no more audience, there's no more stage. It's just home. It's just complete inclusiveness. All of these stars that we see here, all of the stars in the night sky, they all have their own planets orbiting them. Planets a bit similar to the Earth. Some are different, some are similar. Homes for life, life out there in the universe. It gives you a sense of insignificance in a way that we're just one of many homes, one of many worlds. The more I realize, the less we know about our, our origins, our universe, and, and, and what's out there. But it's, an, it's amazing to consider that and to just to, we should strive to understand more about what's out there in space, I think, because it's fascinating. I think every single one of you need to feel at home in your body. I don't care who you are. I don't care how uh, heteronormative you are or how out there you are or how smart you are. I, it's just, you will never know anything until you know who you are in your body. And it'll take a lifetime. Organized religion and organized political systems are not geared for people to feel comfortable in their own body or everybody or they really aren't. And I want people to understand that I'm not asking for everybody to be like me or be extroverted or wear crazy makeup or sing about whatever I sing about. I'm just saying find your own way. And um, it's, it's amazing how much you don't. One side of the moon faces the, the, the Earth because of this amazing gravitational coupling, and that is very important for life. The reason our Earth is stable and has always spun upright like a top for four and a half billion years is because of the moon. This gravitational interaction from the moon also causes the Earth to spin in one direction for all of its time. And it's, it's meant we've had a stable climate on Earth for four and a half billion years, of course, until the last... 50 years when we're messing it up ourselves, but um, so the moon, without the moon, we would not be here, really, physically, there'd be no complex life on Earth. And that, that's one reason I find the moon so fascinating. Stars that will live for a trillion years, but in fact, there, there are that, all the stars will eventually switch off and then there are no more homes. So we have a little bit of time to figure it out. A little you? bit. Uh,